All right, Jason, congratulations. Three-time national champion. How does that sound to you? Uh, not as good as four-time national champ, but I'll take it. Um, look, coming into college, uh, I think everybody wants to be a four-time national champ. I was definitely willing to work for it and sacrifice. Um, but after the first year, my goal was to be three-time national champ, and, and that's what I am. Jason, you've had somewhat of a storybook uh, years at college. Um, you met your wife, and you've had so much success in the wrestling in, in, in the wrestling room. What lessons are you going to take away from Penn State beyond, you know, obviously meeting your wife and three national champions and, you know, all the accolades? Um, I think just to I, – I, I found a lot of wisdom through my coaches that I can't even – begin to make a list of all the things I've learned, but I'm definitely blessed and I'm looking forward to having an impact on others' lives as well and to share my faith with others and, um, yeah. Uh, Jason Gary, I at USA Wrestling. Um, with Tokyo only months away, do you quickly get into freestyle? And so the follow-up question is, is would you wrestle up in the – Garden it that beat the streets thing against the number one guy. I'll wrestle whoever, whenever, as long as it, as long as my coaches think that's the best idea for me. Um, I'm always game. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna transition into freestyle pretty quickly here. Uh, we have a lot of awesome training partners at Nine Line Wrestling Club, so I've kind of already been training it throughout the year. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. Jason, you talked about when you first came in here, we take you back to the 14, 15 season, your true freshman season. That was the year that Kale had redshirted, not just you guys as true freshmen, but I think Megalutis and uh, Rutherford. Can you talk about that year? Had he not done all those redshirts, would you have had the career that you did? Um, yeah, I mean, I, I, obviously our coaches know what they're doing. Uh, we compete well. We compete at our best this tournament every year. Um, I would have been ready to go whenever, uh, but it just happened to be this way, and that's what it is. Uh, Jason, uh, you uh, you also have four team titles, you know, being part of that. Just give me your thoughts on that, too. Uh, yeah, that's definitely a blessing to be uh, part of such a great team. Sometimes uh, you can take it for granted and kind of expect that it's going to happen, but at the, at the beginning and at the end of the day, you got to go work hard for it, and everybody individually has to do their part. And I'm definitely blessed to be around uh, people that have such a clear mind and know exactly what they want and are willing to sacrifice uh, maybe some other things that other people are doing in order to get it. Um, yeah, our, our team is just full of a bunch of great guys and definitely blessed. Jason, you talked about giving back and how important that is to you. Is that something growing up with Rob Waller, Isaac Greeley, uh, and Jody Stripmeyer, is that something that they kind of instilled in you throughout? Yeah, those and my high school coach and my dad and my mom. And um, I think everybody that I've touched uh, has definitely had an impact on my life. And it's hard to say um, if I didn't have this person, would, I, would he still do this? I think that I would still be me. Um, but... All of my coaches have had an impact in such different ways. Uh, it just, I, it's unbelievable the surroundings that I've been surrounded with, and um, all my coaches have always told me to surround myself with great people, and I, that's what I've done at Penn State. Um, so yeah, I'm looking forward to one day maybe having the chance to do that, kind of like what David's doing with them too. Um, it's a great club. You. Uh heard the crowd erupt and then you kind of got a little smirk on your face. You don't show a lot of emotions uh, after your matches ever. Um, what goes into controlling all that and, and uh, how, how do you do that, I guess? Um, yeah, I mean, I treat, I treat every match. I think that everybody should wrestle every match the same. And uh, I don't know if it's adrenaline, but when I, when I get on the big stage, I think I do a lot better. And I just compete at a higher level. I give the same effort and attitude. I just compete better. Um, but yeah, just knowing that the crowd was behind me gave me joy. And knowing that I put my heart into the sport and uh, into the things I love. And you can kind of see, start to see things pay off. So kind of puts a smile on your face. So, Last question. 
Jason, uh, you've always been kind of a forward-thinking wrestler, but uh, do, do you think you'll take a lot of time to just kind of reflect on everything you accomplished in your Penn State career, or, or is it just kind of on to the next step for you? Um, yeah. What's next? Um, what is it, the U.S. Open or Beat the Streets or whatever? Uh, I'm looking forward to that, and uh, it's good to sometimes to reflect and learn from the things you've done, and I don't think you have to lose to learn things. I, I can... Uh, take a lot from this tournament and learn from it, but I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna be uh, dwelling on this. I'm gonna keep moving forward and keep looking to get better, and that's what I'm looking forward to do. Thank you, Jason. Congratulations. Thanks.